Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host, Pasquale. Today, we're making a traditional, simple dish. Very simple. Chestnuts. Look at that. In Italian, we call it castagne. Castagne in Italiano, they're beautiful. So what I did is we need very many ingredients. Only one. Chestnuts. Water. The stove. A little pan right here. To put the chestnut, you know the way they say the song, chestnut roasted on an open fire. Oh, I'm sorry, chestnuts roasted on an open fire. All right, so let's go to work. I'll show you what I do. So we got the chestnuts right here. I kept them in the water for a good maybe hour because that way it makes it easier to disconnect from the skin. And the only thing we do is this is the my mom used to do. She used to do the cross. Right there. All right? So. So we go in. Try not to, to cut the chestnuts open. And try not to cut your fingers too. Like that. And we make a little cross. Oh, this one's already open. So this one doesn't look like it's that good. We'll see. Sometime when you put the chestnuts in the water, if you see the one look that they're floating, this one is possibly not that good. So we'll see, we're gonna try actually. We'll see. No, it actually is fine. But usually they say that when it's, it comes afloat, you know, it's not really great. So we'll see what happens. Now, sometime you can do this, or sometime you can do, go around it. Nice and easy. And just go across into the skin. That's all you gotta do. But I like to do the traditional way, the cross. The way my mom used to make. See? I make the cross right, one and two. So we keep doing this for all of them. And then, after that, I'm going to put them in the water again, and I'm going to bring it to the boil, just a little. So we make the water nice and hot. We'll bring that to the boil. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to put them right here as I open them up. Then I'm putting the water already on, so it starts to get warm up, so we don't waste too much time. we go again so you can do one slit open in the middle if you like or you can make the cross like I do one and two I'm doing it both ways so to show you the difference when you when it opens up because it will open once we put it in the water now why we do this procedure is because this way the skin opens up easier and if you just put the chestnuts in the in the uh, in the oven, and that's it. Now, if you're lazy, if you're lazy like me, sometime you can do this. Look what I got. I got the chestnuts, and this one. What it does? Look how nice this is. I made the cross right there. I love this one. It's easier to do it with a knife. You get stuck on it, but then you pull it out. Look how beautiful. It makes the cross. This I bought it on Amazon. So you can go on Amazon and, and look for the chestnut splitter. And it's only for the skin. And it's really good. You feel that? Look, beautiful cross. Straight in. This is the time of the year. Thanksgiving is coming. In Italian, we call it La Festa del Ringraziamento, even though it's not a 
is not up in, in Italian alley, it's fully an American alley. But this is the time when everybody loves chestnuts. If you walk in New York, New York City, you see a lot of these vendors. They have those roasted chestnuts and they're actually pretty good. Sometimes you find something that is not that good. Okay, so now, nice and easy. So easy, even a child can do it. Especially with this thing here. This is excellent. This is excellent. It's got that little serrated cross on it, and when you press it, it just goes right in. I think I paid like $70 in Amazon. So now what we're going to do is this. Put in the chestnuts, lie in the water, and we're going to let it come to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, maybe a minute, two minutes, you splash everywhere. So when it comes to a boil, a boil in a few minutes, we take it out, and I'm going to put in... I'm going to actually turn on the broil. And it's going to be on high. Better low. And that cooks really fast. And it's almost, when you put it on the broil, it's almost like you make a, a in the barbecue, you know, put it on the barbecue. That's nice. This is chestnuts. Very simple. Some people put a little salt in it. I'm not doing that. I do it naturally because I like the chestnuts naturally, the way God created it. So now the water's gonna stop boiling. As soon as it boils a little bit, the chestnuts will open, and then we can just take it out and put it on this beautiful telia, and we're gonna roast it. We can sing the song, you better watch out. No, it's Christmas. Chestnuts roasted on an open fire. Don't get too close because you can be burned. It's hot. All right. Okay, so the chestnuts are boiling for a couple of minutes. Now, let's take this out, and we're going to put them right on the pan, right here. They started opening up already. In Italy, they also make pane di castagna, means uh, uh, chestnuts bread. When I was in the army close to Rome, they used to make this pane di castagna, chestnuts bread. All right, so we'll get rid of this now. And look at this beautiful, see, how, see the way they opened up already? So now we're gonna put it in the oven. I put it on broiler and I put it on low. And I'm gonna put it right in here and let it cook for a little bit. And that's it. So probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'll be back and I'll show you the result. See you soon. Okay, we are back and the chestnuts are ready. Look at that, just took them out of the oven. And I put it on broil. We have to let it cool off just a little bit, and then I can play around. I just took them out, so I'm not touching them. Very, very hot. All right, I'll be back. Ciao. Okay, so they're still very hot, and I'm going to show you the difference between when you just cut across and when you do the cross. See, this is one cut only. It opens up this way. This is the cross. So if you do this, very hot. Got to wait. I'm trying to do it. Ooh. Very, very. Mm. It's good for me.
too hot they're breaking apart so I have to wait let it cool off Smoky Joe Cafe so this is chestnuts this is how you cook it if you don't know but if you know I'm sure you know delicious still very hot listen to this they hissing too still but they delicious they cook very well so guys chestnuts and with that that's it I'm just gonna wait till they cool off and then I'll eat them so I'll see you next time thank you for watching very simple little quick video for the people that don't know how to cook chestnuts or they know but this is a different way all right so I'll see everybody next time and have a beautiful weekend and don't forget to like and subscribe Ciao!